So Griffith's quantum mechanics, problem 2.26. The first question is, what is the Fourier transform of the Dirac delta function? So let me go ahead and write this out. There's our Dirac delta function. And then e to the minus i k x d x. All right, so this is our uh, Fourier transform. All right, so just like with uh, integrating all the um, over a Dirac delta function, we say where is this equal to uh, infinity rather than zero, right? And uh, that's at x equals zero. Okay, so we um, this drag delta function is non-zero when x equals zero, and we ask, is this point within our limit of integration? And it is uh, between minus infinity and infinity. So um, the only point that's going to count for us is when x equals zero, and um, and uh, then basically. This will turn to one when we integrate over it, um, but it will only, uh, it'll pick out that one point. So what this looks like, we have one over square root of two pi, and then uh, when we pick out that one point, we have e to the minus i k, and then a zero for x, okay? Separate this off so, we, so it's clear what this is okay. all right and what is an exponential raised to zero it's equal to one so this piece here goes to one and we are left with the Fourier transform of the Dirac Delta function is one over the square root of two pi now we can use the Plantrell's theorem which will tell us the inverse Fourier transform. So um, our, our, uh, our x function, in this case, is the direct delta function. So this is what this looks like. All right. Um, I'll go ahead and write the little f of x so it looks like the, the equation from the book. All right. Um, and then we have, what, well, um, I'll, I'll, okay. I'll put the, uh, I forgot to write the one over square root of two pi part. Okay, all right, so there's the one over square root of two pi, which could write out front. All right, and then we put in the Fourier transform. This is what we're going to be taking the inverse Fourier transform of to get our original function of x back. So here's the, the big uh, big f, the function of k, right? And then this time it's an e to the positive i k x dx. Okay. So um, we just have to work this out. It's not difficult. We have we know what the big F of k is already. It's just a constant, 1 over square root of 2 pi. So I'm just going to bring this down here for our grand finale here. All right, so when we, we put uh, this little, uh, this uh, big F of k is also a 1 over square root of 2 pi. equal sign and everything, but, right, so this is just going to be multiplied by this, and we'll get a 1 over 2 pi, all right, and then we have just what's left over, which is an e to the i k x dx, all right, and draw one of our lines to keep this separate from what's above it. And there we go. This is the equation that Griffiths asked us asked us to prove. 
um, using Plantrell's theorem and a really weird equation. You can read his comments about it. 